Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Hey, today we went out and bought ourselves a new Keurig K Classic coffee machine. This is a single serve coffee machine that uh, uses the K cups you see everywhere. This is kind of the base model. The model number is actually the K50. Um, and just because it's base doesn't mean it's not got everything you need. It's got less than one minute brew time, a 48 ounce reservoir, which is not huge, but if you're not a family of Tanner, you're not a really serious, you know, five, six cup of coffee a morning kind of person, 48 ounces will get you through a morning. And I don't like to leave water in there for a few days. I, I like to add water every morning. Three cup sizes, it'll do six, like a teacup, eight, which is like average, but we always use 10 ounce. Some of our mugs, we actually will run a 10 ounce and a six ounce for the big pint coffee. I mean, you can get these things anywhere. You can pick them up on Amazon uh, for a relatively good deal. And I'll, I'll stick a link at the description where you can pick one up. And this is replacing our old Keurig, which is also a K50. Our old Keurig was probably four years old. And my wife and I figured out the math. Uh, we probably have four cups of coffee a day between the two of us. So that's about 1200 a year. Um, company add probably another two or three hundred in there, so about fifteen hundred a year. Four years, six thousand cups of coffee, for maybe a hundred bucks for a machine. Not a bad deal. I don't, you know, are they going to last forever? Could I have taken it apart, cleaned it, and, and maybe replaced a part? Maybe, but it's nice to go and get a brand new Keurig once in a while. So without much further ado, I'm going to do a quick time opening this, and we'll talk about it and take through take you through the setup. Okay, we're back in real time. And Keurig has really perfected the uh, the art of packaging. Everything came together. There was strapping tape all over the place for the parts that will, you know, perhaps come loose during transit. Uh, you've got your 48 ounce reservoir here where you pull off, lift up and pull out. Just fill that up with a pitcher of water or via the sink. Um, the lid goes on there. That nests right in the side. The front has the drip tray where you put your cup. This comes apart for easy cleaning because there's always a little spillage. Life happens, right? Slide that back in place. The uh, part that accepts the K-cup or your screen filter. We use screen filters because we just buy Starbucks coffee and put put it in the filters. We don't actually buy the K-cups. My wife has... Um, she just prefers using the reusable screens. That is the part that holds the K-cup. Here's the part that injects the hot water with a little needle that will puncture the K-cup. Over here, you can see the settings and the annunciator panel. Right here, a little blue light will come on and say to add water. Descale, that's a new one for this model. That'll tell you when you have too much calcium in there. Add some vinegar, that's cool. The heating light, the auto off, and the power. And then these are your three sizes, your six, eight, and 10 ounces. And these will light up blue when it's heated and you just press the appropriate one. Cord is on the back of this and it's about a, about a three foot cord which is consistent with what you want on your kitchen counter. And if you hear a little noise in the background, it's because my middle schooler just came home and her puppy German Shepherd is going nuts. Anyway, so that's a Keurig. It comes ready to go within about two or three minutes. You need to add the water and add the cake up. And we're gonna try this one out. I'll get an extension cord just so we can try it out on this end of the counter because that end of the counter is covered with uh, pumpkin carving stuff because Halloween is just two days away. All right, we're back. We're plugged in with an extension cord, which is not the recommended way to do it, but I'm just doing this to show you how it works. Here's what you'd buy, a K-cup, if you're not familiar with that, and that just fits right in there. And when you close this, it punctures it up there and it'll run superheated water through there and through the bottom into your cup. We're not gonna use this today. Here's what I was talking about. We use these reusable screens that you just rinse out but they'll, they fit in this little enclosure. I'll fill some just Starbucks in there, close that, and that goes in here, but you have to take this piece out first, which just pulls out like that. If you look, they're remarkably similar in size and shape. So, tell you what, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it back. I am gonna use the K-cup. That's truly how it's supposed to be. So line up the arrows on the top, I believe. 
caution, sharp needles, that's a good caution. Okay, I'm gonna put my cake up in, close that, but you need to add water. You need to pull this off and do it in the sink, or for today I'm just gonna pour some water in there. And turn it on, and you'll start to hear it do some things. It's gonna heat up. While that's warming up, I'm going to show you my favorite cup. This is Bebop a Rebop a Rhubarb Pie. If you know what that is, you'll appreciate the cup. Okay, I'm going to go medium. Oh, it's heating now. Got that red light on for heating. And when these light up, I think they typically turn blue. We are ready to go. I'm just opening this to show you the hole that was punctured there. And you see it is now heated up. I'm going to do the medium cup. Press blue and these should extinguish and this will stay lit. If you hear something in the side, that's the happy puppy and, and her owner. All right, back to this. In the mornings, it doesn't seem to take this long. I just put the coffee in, start it going, and go get my cup. Here it comes. Now that's the sound you get used to. It might not be the most pleasant, but in the morning it gets your salivary glands going because you know coffee's coming. And this is going to be welcome because we're actually doing a, a uh, trampoline park tonight. I need energy. There you go. If you could smell that, you'd be impressed. So that's the basic tour and how to operate the Keurig K50, or virtually all Keurig single cup coffee machines. Hope this helps. If you want to get one of these for yourself, I'll put the link in the bottom in the description. And if I can find this, I'll put a link for that too. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.